This mount right here is called a running bowling. The way I like to do is you take the tail of your rope. This is your main line. You take the tail of your rope. I take the, the tail and turn my hand to the left by making a circle or a loop, basically. Okay, then you come on top of the, the main line, okay? And then the rabbit runs in the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole, and then you pull his ears. That is a running bullet. Now, this rope uh, possibly could be 80 feet up in the air. I want this knot to be at the top of the tree, so now all I have to do is pull the main line and the knot goes right up to the crotch or that, the wherever the the ending point of the termination point and that loop will stay open unlike a slip knot which would close down as you pulled it exactly yeah exactly this this will stay open and it's easy to get undone as I'll demonstrate you just pull down you've loaded the knot now this is this is loaded all you do is take this part that comes over break it over like that and it comes right loose another knot <clears throat> if this is now my climbing line <clears throat> this is the tail down here on the ground this is called a free end bowling this is my climbing line so I say, James, I want my lowering line. Same scenario. This is a free and bowl instead of run and bowling. You take the climbing line, you make a loop. The rabbit runs in the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole, and you pull his ears. Now, when this lower line, I pull it up to me, all I have to do is that. I untie one knot. I don't have a series of three or four knots that's taking up my valuable time while I'm in the tree. <clears throat> um, this is another common knot. This is called a clove hitch. You take the rope, you go underneath the main line, okay? Hold on to this right here. You go around the tree, and back under like this. You keep keep your rope taut. You pull up the rope like this, okay? That is a clove, okay? That's used for sending things up the tree. If I was gonna load this knot. You mean, you, instead of tying around, you're not simulating the tying around of a tree trunk by doing that. You're simulating the tying around something that's going up the tree. This is going up the tree, okay? Right. But now, if I was going to load this knot with a limb or a piece of wood, I would come back and finish it with one to two half hitches. Because if this knot is loaded with up to 800 pound piece of wood, if it don't have half hitches, it will unload and unwrap and you're going to be in an embarrassing situation. <clears throat> the other knot Another common knot that I use is called the timber hitch. This is a good logging knot. <clears throat> you can attach pulleys, blocks, um, gear to the tree, uh, snaking logs out. You go around the tree with the rope. You go back over the main line and then all you do is feed it around the main part of the line going around Four or five times is sufficient. Pull it tight, it's good to go. Wow, that's a pretty simple knot. That's a very simple knot. And it looks and like it, the weight of it. And it, it don't matter apart. how much you load it, you can always undo it by taking this. And that's called a what? A snake? A timber hitch. 
timber hitch. That looks like a great knot. That's it. That is a great knot, but there are special uses for each one of these knots I'm speaking to you about. And I didn't really go into that. I'm just showing you. <clears throat> the running bowling is a good knot for running a rope up a tree to pull down after shooting a line, a throw line into the top of a tree. The running bowling's a good knot for that. A running bowling is also a good knot for lowering out limbs. A clove hitch is good for lowering out limbs. A timber hitch is not used for loading to lower limbs out because mm -hmm. a timber hitch could come loose. This is to be used on the ground. Good steady pressure, not a jerky Exactly, no limb. jerking motion. Okay. Right, right. And that about finishes me up for four of the most useful knots that I use on an everyday basis.